thought I'd do a quick video about the Z6 firmware update. The uh, Nikon's updated the firmware for the Z6 a couple of days ago, and uh, not a lot of people were talking about it. There's not a lot of new features in there, there's a lot of bug fixes, but one new feature in there that I'm really excited about is the fact that you can now use the control ring on the lens to control ISO. So now for a manual shoot like me, I like to shoot uh, fully manual. Uh, when you're using uh, aperture priority, you can set the dial to exposure compensation, which works very well. Uh, but for the majority of things that I shoot, I shoot in full manual. So having the ability to put ISO on this uh, control ring uh, makes it a lot easier for me to shoot. This gives you a lot of flexibility when shooting. You don't have to take your, your eye off the view out of the viewfinder. You don't have to press any other buttons to uh, you know, start the ISO and then switch it, you know, press a scroll of dial at the back to change your values. It's just very, very quick to spin this up and down to get the, uh, the ISO value that you're looking for. So now I can you know, use the front to control aperture, the back to control the shutter speed, and the control ring to control ISO. I don't know why that was missing on the camera when they first announced it. It seemed like a logical thing to put on the control ring, uh, but in the past, all they had was, I believe, uh, exposure compensation, manual focus, and uh, I can't remember, none or something like that. But uh, I think it's a really good addition to uh, the Z system. I'm pretty excited about shooting in manual now, uh, given the fact that I can now use the control ring to control the ISO when I'm shooting manual. So uh, if you haven't updated your camera already, I would suggest you do so if you shoot manual and want to have that extra control. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.